Kurt Bardella and former Republican congressional candidate Denise Grace Gitsum. Uh, both are News Nation political contributors. Um, thanks to both of you for hopping on early this morning. Uh, appreciate your time. Kurt, let me just start with you. Nicole Shanahan is a longtime Democratic donor, so maybe in those circles she's well known, but not to everyday voters. What's the strategy of RFK, who has an uphill battle, bringing on somebody without name recognition? Right. Well, first, it's not the media that's speculating. It's actually RFK's campaign feeling that speculation by putting out names like Aaron Rodgers and Jesse Ventura. Uh, and, and now this woman who, like you said, is an unknown, she has zero public profile. So I think that clearly the number one driver that is most important, it seems, if this ends up being the pick is money, uh, is that this is someone who can help finance the campaign going forward. Um, I, I think that that's probably one of those situations where, hey, someone has a lot of money, help finance the Super Bowl idea single-handedly, the commercial that ran uh, during the Super Bowl that garnered a tremendous amount of attention. I think that's really appealing to the Kennedy campaign. And so it's really kind of vice presidency potentially going to the highest bidder. Yeah. And, and Denise, you know, Kurt brings up the fact that, you know, Kennedy's campaign brought up names like Aaron Rodgers, Jesse, the body Ventura. I mean, do you agree with, you know, his money point there? You know, why why pick Nicole Shanahan, a, a non-celebrity? Was it money generating attention? What was it? Absolutely. Kurt's dead on. And good morning, Marky. You know, RFK needs two things in order to qualify for all the ballots on all the states that he needs to get on. He needs a running mate to qualify, a running mate, a VP to qualify for the ballot in 26 states. So she checks the box on that. And he also needs 15 million in the bank to get on the ballots in all 50 states. So she really fits the bill perfectly. You know, she's a self-funder. She can, she's in the top 10 list of philanthropic donors in America. She's female. She's young. She's a lot of things that he's not. She's actually half Chinese and half Caucasian. She's Hapa, just like me. And so, and she's an attorney. And she is really importantly, I think, something that people are not appreciating as much as they might could is the fact that she has deep ties to the Silicon Valley elite, including Elon Musk. And so what most of what you learn about her, you learn on People magazine, which is definitely not where folks in the Beltway would look for information or yeah. potential <laughs> people pick. But it's definitely going to make this race interesting because if he doesn't have money, he's simply not relevant. Yeah. And I mean, even just her being a, a an unknown is garnering coverage. I mean, we're talking about it here now, uh, just like we were Aaron Rodgers last week. Kurt, I'm curious your thoughts. Who is RFK's campaign a bigger threat to? Is it Republicans or Democrats? Well, I think certainly uh, Democrats, and, and I say that for two reasons. One, you look at some of his biggest financial supporters have actually been also big donors to Donald Trump's campaign. They, they certainly wouldn't be cutting a check to RFK if they thought that he hurt Donald Trump's chances. And you look at most recently last week, the Democratic National Committee announced that they're kind of putting together this internal strategic operation led by uh, very well-known Beltway communicator Liz Smith, who was really the architect of Pete Buttigieg's rise uh, in the media during his campaign. Um, you know, with Liz running that operation, that's something that they're very clearly taking very seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, she is running this opposition to the third parties and doing rapid response and pushing real messaging and communications. You're already seeing kind of evidence of that party with just last night, the Kennedy family putting out this photo with President Biden on social media at the White House. Uh, you know, almost every living Kennedy family member uh, supporting President Biden in that photo. Uh, that's not an accident that all this is happening right now. Yeah.